is seemingly ordinary x-ray. But it horrified the doctors on the spot, because the x-ray showed a pile of vivid human faces inside the patient's body, almost identical to children's skulls. I'll be damned. Did you? The doctor suspects the patient is an extremely severe psychopath. When the patient first came to the hospital, he only had some intestinal obstruction. Initially, the doctor didn't pay much attention and thought it was just a case of intestinal obstruction. After all, they had encountered many such cases. However, the doctor soon noticed something was wrong. No matter how he inquired, the man refused to say what he had swallowed and even joked with the female doctor on the spot. Are you sure you don't want to tell me what's got you blocked up inside? Even when the doctor told him he was in mortal danger, the man still refused to reveal a single bit. But little did they know, the man before them turned out to be a psychopath. After the x-ray came out, the doctors found something resembling a poison ball inside him. They suspected the man was using bodily movement, and once the poison ball ruptured inside him, in less than five minutes, the man would surely die on the spot. But if that were the case, it would have been fine, as long as the foreign object was removed quickly with a colon cleansing surgery. However, the doctor ultimately simplified the problem. Just as everyone was about to prepare for the colon cleansing surgery, the intern noticed something unusual. You have reason to believe they're not balloons? This one here's got a face. The intern believed it wasn't a poison ball, but rather human faces. Sure enough, when the doctor adjusted the light and took a closer look, it indeed looked like human faces, and not just one. Soon, a pile of vivid human faces appeared conspicuously resembling infant skulls. Everyone was puzzled as to why the man would swallow something resembling human faces, but the doctors were certain the man was undoubtedly a psychopath. A normal person wouldn't do such a thing. But there was no time to dwell on it. To prevent intestinal necrosis, the doctor immediately scheduled surgery for him. Even though everyone was mentally prepared, they were still shocked by the ensuing operation. The doctor actually removed the toy head from his intestines. Faced with the doctor's questioning gaze, the man ultimately felt too embarrassed to speak up. He just felt empty inside after they were removed. However, the doctor speculated that perhaps the man saw these dolls as companions to increase his sense of fulfillment. Alternatively, it could be that the man's mother wanted a daughter and this bought him dolls from a young age. Influenced by his mother, he turned out this way. But no matter how you look at it, the man's behavior was indeed quite outlandish. It's truly a strange world we live in, where anything can't happen. Oh, 